Hello Udemy, I am Shahzad Ahmed from Shakezi.com and uh, welcome in lecture number 3rd. Today we are going to download the coding nighter, the fresh coding nighter setup and uh, we are going to uh, start from the scratch. So how can you do that? First of all we need to download the coding nighter from the official website of coding nighter. So codingnighter.com is the official website and uh, 3.1.9 is the current version while i'm recording this lecture so hit the download button as you can see they have uh, coding nighter 2.x coding nighter 3.x and coding nighter 4.x 2.x is the legacy version of the coding nighter the current version is the 3.1.9 which is the coding nighter 3 and the upcoming version of the coding nighter 4.x make sure this is the development version okay uh, it's not for the production version. So as you can see the current version is uh, considered pre alpha 1. Okay, so Hit the download coding nighter button And as you can see I am downloading 3.1.9. So Go to your folder coding nighter So here you can see 3.1.9 I have already downloaded it so control C I have installed my XAMPP inside my C drive so first of all I need to uh, start my XAMPP so XAMPP start your Apache my SQL okay working fine now I have installed my XAMPP inside my C drive so as you can see this is uh, the XAMPP so open it and uh, open the Azure Docs because we need to Keep all our projects inside the Azure Docs set, Azure Docs folder, or in the Azure Docs folder. If you are working on the VAM, you have definitely the www directory. Okay, so paste here. So as you can see, this is 3.1.9. Extract. I'm going to extract it, so we can use it. And uh, I need to open the PHP star. Okay, so wait for a few seconds. Okay, I have extracted the coding nighter setup. So as you can see, this is the coding nighter 3.1.9. So rename it. I'm saying ACI. That means advanced CI. So it's totally dependent upon you. I am using this name ACI. Okay, so now I have to open this project in my PHP Storm editor. If you are working on the Sublime or Notepad Plus Plus or whatever editor you are using. So you can also use, but I'm using the PHP store. So file open. This is my HD docs. I need to a refresh it because here is a CI. I need to open it. We are going to okay now go to your local host. So as you can see, this is your local host. Now type your a C I A C I so it's working fine. I'm going to change some so go to your config routing and add your controller which is the home. Now I need to create the home controller first of all. So right click create class because it's a controller. I'm saying home first letter is capital. Okay, so now I'm saying extend to CI controller and I need to add the function which is the index function. Okay, now I'm saying echo and I'm saying that uh, working fine. Okay, so go to your project. Refresh the page so you can see we have embedded. Now I need to create the HD docs file. Simple file. I'm saying dot ht access. So this is your dot ht access file. Open it and now go to your coding nighter and this is the documentation. Uh, read the documentation. Now I'm saying URL. Okay, you are coding nighter URL. So find the dot ht access, copy this code, paste this code here. So now refresh the page. Why I am doing this? Because 
uh, we are going to remove the index.php from the config file so now as you can see this is the index.php i am removing this and this is the request ui so everything is working fine so now i'm saying okay fine if i'm going to access the controller it's also working fine so uh, now i'm going to create the of course localhost localhost php my admin you can also use your data grid or sql log and uh, i don't know which tool you are using but uh, now i'm for now i'm using the php my admin uh, we will discuss about the data grid in our data lectures now hit the database sections create a database new database i'm saying aci aci that means advanced coding night create the database now go to your config database you need to add your database because we are connect we have connected with our local environment so root is our username and password is empty we have created the aci database name so auto load go to your libraries section so as you can see this is the library section i'm going to uh, set the database class or library to auto load so okay so now go to your project refresh the page so as you can see it's working fine if you are giving wrong database name it will definitely generate the error okay so now we have downloaded the fresh coding editor setup we have created the database and we have created the index.php to remove the index.php from the url if you are familiar with the url structure then definitely as you can see this is the root and this is the class this is the functions and this is the id you have to add the index.php before accessing any controllers so we have created the dot um, htaccess file and we are removing the index.php okay so that's why i told that you have the basic knowledge of uh, coding editor before starting this series so we will discuss uh, about the routing in our le next lecture so i think this is enough for today so thank you for watching